guys, Gunwild here, and welcome to Rimfire Madness. Today we're going to take a look at the GSG 1911-22. Yeah, the GSG-1911. GSG stands for German Sport Gun. And they are distributed through ATI or American Tactical Imports. Now this is a 22 calibered 1911 that is the same size. All the specs on this is the same as it would be on a full size 45 ACP 1911. Um, and it's the same weight just a very nice training tool now it has uh, dual or ambidextrous safeties on it, it has a nice uh, beaver tail and, it, and it, it functions the same as a regular 1911 it has your beaver tail safety um, it has a skeletonized hammer and trigger. Just a very, very nice firearm. It has some really good uh, yellow colored three dot sight system there. Um, now this originally came with wood grips right here. But uh, I prefer the all black look, so I, I switched them out. Um, I, I use this for steel challenge, for competition uses. This is just a fantastic running firearm. Now, I did make uh, one change to it to improve the function of it. Um, when I first picked this thing up, I took it to the range and I tried, uh, I believe it was six, maybe eight different brands of ammo in it, um, which was, uh, well, like Winchester Red Box, Winchester White Box, uh, CCI Blazers, CCI uh, Stingers, um, Mini Mags, the uh, Remington Golden Boys. Um, and stock straight out of the box, the best ammo that, that this functioned on was the CCI Blazer. Now, it still had failures even with, a, with that ammo. It had failures with all of the ammo. And I had did a little research and I found a company that makes aftermarket parts for it and I replaced the guide rod and spring with a stainless steel one. Now the original one that came with it is, I originally thought it was plastic, but I was wrong. It's an aluminum alloy, or more commonly known as pot metal. Um, it functioned okay with this one, but since I put the stainless steel one in here and uh, these are sold by a company called CW Accessories this thing has run flawlessly on no matter what brand ammo I put through it it's just a fantastic functioning pistol now the finish on this isn't the greatest um, According to the ATI's website, it says it has a blued finish, but I don't know. It, it, it seems to be wearing too easily. Um, right in here has some wear spots on the barrel. Um, there is some wear on the outside here. That might be holster wear from when I uh, shoot competitions. 
Uh, there's some more wear right here. Now that's a little nick. I, I did that and that was my fault. Um, and let's see, under here there's a little bit of wear right there from the slide release. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest finish, but for the price, it's a fantastic training tool. If you're into 1911s, I would highly recommend this one. Now, this pistol is the same exact pistol as the Sig Sauer 1911-22. They are made in the same factory. The only difference is one says GSG, the other one says SIG, and you're going to pay a little more for the SIG. From my understanding, the president and CEO of SIG and the president and CEO of GSG are brothers. So you know take that for what it's worth um, <laughs> you know these they are both the same exact firearm like I said the only difference is the name that's on it so if you guys are looking for a nice 22 caliber 1911 to train with GSG is just an awesome training tool if if you can find one with this, uh, you know, the panic buying and stuff that's been going on, I recommend you go get one. Um, let's see, I paid two fifty nine for this one, and I think the Sig Sauer is about fifty bucks more. But whichever one you can get, I would highly recommend it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.